everyone welcome to our very first story in life love diaries first love never dies dear life love i am 23 years old itago mo na lang ako sa pangalang j Nagsimula ang aking love story three years ago noong ako'y nag-aaral pa sa college. Magkaklase kami at magkaibigan. We hung out together with friends at wala sa isip ko na may gusto siya sa akin. I always thought that he likes my cousin kasi nga hindi naman ako kagandahan. At ang habulin talaga ay ang aking pinsan. Isang araw, nagtapat siya sa akin. Life love. At nasyak ako. Nireject ko siya at sinabing friend lang ang turing ko sa kanya. Nakita ko kung paano siya nasaktan sa sinabi ko. At tuluyan ako tinalikuran. After that day, di na siya ulit lumapit sa akin. Dumistan siya siya at malimit na lang akong pinagmamastan sa malayo. That incident bothers me, life love. I never had a boyfriend at ganyan lagi ang response ko pag may nagtatapat sa akin. But in the next few days, naging maligalik ako. Namimiss ko ang company niya. At mas gusto ko lagi hinahanap-hanap siya. And that scares me. Yung feeling na bago sa'yo na di mo maintindihan. realize na I fell in love with him without even knowing it. I've tried na itago kung ano man ang nararamdaman ko, life love. Kung nakikita ko siya, umiiba ako ng daan at nagtatago. Pag nakaupo siya sa unahan, sa likod ako umu. Di na niya siguro kayang tiisin life love at kinumpronta ako. May sakit ba akong nakakahawa na halos ayaw mo nang magpakita sa akin at iniiwasan mo ako lagi? Yun ang sabi niya sa akin. He almost broke into tears habang nakatingin sa akin life love. And that hurts me like hell. Tumingin ako sa mga mata niya at nakita ko yung sakit na nararamdaman niya. At di ko alam, bigla na lang akong umiyak at nagpanik siya. Niyakap niya ako life love and that very moment I realized Yes, I do love this man. We talk things out and then we begin dating. That's one of the best moments in my life, life love. Yung parang nasa alapaap ka lagi. Yung parang nasa cloud na yung ka. Days turn into weeks, and weeks turns into months, and even turns into a year or two. May mga tampuhan pero lagi naman na overcome. Ganyan talaga, merong ups and downs sa relationship. We plan things out, even yung future na. Hindi namin alam 
what lies ahead. Nasa last year na kami ng aming college life love nang may papansin akong pagbabago. Naging tahimik siya at parang nag-iisip. Yung dating laging tumatawag at text naging madalang. Asked ko siya kung may problema. Wala naman daw. Akala ko, may mga issues lang sa family niya na hindi niya masabi. Until one day, dumating ang kinatatakutan ko, life love. Inimbita ako ng mutual friend namin na malapit lang din sa kanila. There, I meet the other girl. Or, let's just say, ex na din niya kasi nag-break na din sila a day before dahil nalaman na tatlo kami sa buhay niya. Nasyag ako, life love. Kailan pa yun nangyari? Ang tanong ko. We've been happy all this time. Wala talaga akong alam. At hindi ko talaga ini-expect na mangyayari ito. I confronted him the next day. Tatlo pala kami, sabi ko sa kanya. Paano nangyari at bakit? Para siyang basang sisiyo na kayo ko walang imik habang ako naman ang naghisterya. Gustuhin ko man siyang sampalin o suntukin, di ko magawa. Walang explanation. Silence means yes. Ganun lang. I went back to the dorm, life lab, diretso sa aking kama, at doon ako umiyak ng umiyak. I was really devastated at that time, at nakatulugan ko na lang ang pag-iyak. I went home the next day, tuliro ang utak. I almost planned to stop my studies, life lab. It was too painful to bear seeing him every day. But then, I didn't lose my hope. Dahil exam na sa mga sumusunod na week, I braced myself to it. I meditated and cleared my mind. Mumalik ako sa dorm and tired up myself studying. I never talked to him again. I put the walls and shut myself out from his world. Masakit but kinaya ko. I pretended to be okay. Even though I know in myself, deep down, every time I remember him, Tumutulo ang luha. He never bothered to explain or talk to me again. Siguro, masyado din siyang guilty. Worst scenario, I'm like a walking zombie. I visit myself in school activities and even graduated top my class. graduated and we didn't even dare to talk to each other. We parted ways and never said what we needed to say. I get scared of trusting again life love and thinking I might end up just like my first love. From time to time he crosses my mind Minsan, napapangiti ako. It's been a while. Hindi ko na alam kung kumusta na siya. I admit, 
I could never ever forget it. Totoo ata ang sabi nila, first love never dies. Kung sana, di sana kami nagkahiwalay. It would be probably the time na we plan to settle down. Pero, wala na siya. He will forever be my first love. And that forever will be a memory. Hanggang dito na lang ang aking kwento. Salamat, life, love, and more power. Jane, thank you for sharing your story with me. It's like a roller coaster ride, and in the end, di pa din naging kayo. Jane, in a relationship, we cannot always guarantee a hundred percent na magkakatuluyan tayo. Sabi nga nila, pag di uukol, di bubukol. Pag di talaga para sa'yo, kahit ano pang gawing kapit mo, eventually, di talaga mapapasa iyo. Parang buhangin lang yan. The more na hihigpitan mo ang hawak, makakawala talaga sa kamay mo. But Jane, do think positive. Swerte ka pa din dahil naranasan mo magmahal at paano mamahalin. It's always the most wonderful feeling. The kilig moments. The away pati moments. But unfortunately, di naging kayo. Move on, Jane. There is always a lot of fishes in the ocean. Kung sa whitey world pa, mangisda ka lang ng mangisda. Luckily, one day, may mahuhuli kang worthy of your love. Don't shut yourself out. Open your heart again. Who knows, the one you are waiting for is just around the corner. Don't be too hard on yourself, Jane. It's been a year. I think it's time for you to move on. Guys, natunghayan po natin ang kwento ni Jane. Relate ba kayo or isa sa inyo ang nakaranas nito? If you have any advice or comments for Jane, don't hesitate guys, just comment below. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any stories you want to share, just feel free to contact on the email below. It's time to end now guys. I hope you had a great time watching or I say rather listening. Don't forget that life is short, so live life to the fullest. Don't forget to count your blessings and always be thankful for it. Till next time guys, hope to see you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye bye.